My clarinet concerto was written for the clarinetist Catriona Scott, who, by coincidence, had happy childhood experiences of the same remote area of rural Norfolk as I did. The title, Lost Lanes, Shadowed Groves, is borrowed in part from a poem by Philip Larkin, Lost Lanes of Queen Anne's Lace, and that high builded cloud moving at summer's pace. And it's an unashamed and, in fact, quite deliberately pastoral piece. But it's also a reflection on the memories of childhood, the lost lanes of memory. The first movement, Broad Sky, is a, a sort of breezy evocation of that part of Norfolk. The broadness of the sky is mirrored in the breadth of phrasing and openness of the harmony. The second movement, Dark Lane, is really about transformation. A place that might seem very familiar to us can undergo a very unsettling change. I was once walking down a particular lane in that part of Norfolk and there was a very strange noise coming from just beside a field to the side. A foggy day, everything indistinct, and this sound of a, what I can only describe as a heartbeat, pounding loudly, much more loudly than you might think, and making the whole area seem suddenly unsettling and I wanted to express that sense of change in this movement. Around the church is the third movement and if you think of all those Norfolk churches Every few miles there's a Saxon church, buried perhaps behind trees, and also the churchyard around, with all those people over the hundreds of years who have lived their lives in the area, in possibly fascinating characters, all of them now under the earth, but in this piece I wanted a sense that there's something of them coming out into the open once more. Um, as a historical reflection. There's a special corner of Norfolk that means a great deal to me from my childhood where I would look across the fields and see a grove of trees lit up just at the last point in the evening when the sun would make it go golden. And I always felt would it be possible to get there in time before that, those conditions changed? No, it's something of the imagination. It's something you can only go to visit in the imagination. So the last movement um, is about that. Uh, the far grove, a place we can't quite get to. Although much of this concerto was conceived in Norfolk, it was largely refined and written down in Redfield, where I have lived since 1974. So I'm delighted that this work is finally being aired in my hometown by the Redfield Symphonia. <laughs>